Hi, my name's Kate Hemmings and I'm pleased to welcome you to the November issue of Craft's Beautiful magazine. I'm joined by Corinne Brad, who's going to be demonstrating a paper folding project. Hi Corinne. Hello Kate. But before we get on to that, we just want to tell you a bit about the free gifts with this issue. Not only do we have a selection of exclusive papers by Kirsty Wiseman in lovely Christmas designs, as you mm, can see they're here. They're great, I love them. We've also got a brilliant book of discounts so you can do some crafty shopping without spending too much cash, which we always like. Yeah. <laughs> and our personal favourite, a fantastic 100-piece topper kit as an extra present from Craft Beautiful to you. And as you can see, there's a real nice selection in there. They're not only Christmas, some are glittery. And as Corinne said earlier... Well, the great thing about them is you can <laughs> you can embellish them further, either with pen work or glitter. There's all sorts of bits in there. Even if there's bits in there that you think you'd never use, just use them as templates to cut it out of your own, you know, the, the, your favourite cardstock. Definitely. So make sure you look out for those. Now, Corinne, what are you going to be demonstrating for well, us? We have a demonstration for you today. It's a beautiful card that's been designed by Heather Ford. Um, that looks very complicated. And it's a pop-out bouquet. Yeah, thanks for that. <laughs> pop-out bouquet of flowers. It does fold flat, so you can pop it in the post. Now, I must admit, when you told me this is what I had to demonstrate, I nearly cried. <laughs> um, because it did look like the most complicated thing on the planet. But actually, it's not as bad That's as good to know. I thought it was going to be. Well, she's used the um, cars range of um, Colour Car Coordinations cardstock which isn't particularly easy to say, but is beautiful paper. And it is very easy to use. You've got like a textured effect on it, and then they've overcoloured it, and you can sand it, crumple it. For lots of um, different effects. Yeah, for lots of different effects. And there's lovely colours in this, this pad they that you get. Beautiful. I won't fan it too much, because I can see all that lot going across You're the room. You're my hair as So well. I shall pass that to you. Um, you. And she's also used these lovely chipboard buttons that stick on. Great range of ribbons here, um, the Morning Song collection. And there's also some lovely splatter flowers and some um, decorative brads. Fab. So, to get the effect of the flower pot, you need a cuttle bug machine. Now, I like these. They're very cool, aren't they? are very going to have to forgive me while I fill the They're table up with stuff. Here is the lovely cuttle bug, which you open out the plates, and you can't pick it up because <laughs> it sticks to the surface. Fantastic. So, with the embossing folders that you get, you just take a piece of card, put it inside the embossing folder. Try and make sure that it's lined up because there's nothing worse than it being on the skew. OK, put plate A, which is the main cutting plate in the machine, and then you sandwich this between two plates B. OK. I think you, I do believe that you get both of them in the kit yes, you when you first do. get it. OK, and then if you just push it through and turn the handle. And as if by magic. You've got this great embossed effect. And then what she's done is she's then sanded over the, the top of the embossing to get rid of the colour. Now, okay. I don't have my emery board, so I can't do that, but what I can do is I can pass these to you in a minute. Excellent. Because you're going to need to stick these in place. Uh, in here, let's do two at a time, save a bit of time. They're so handy, these machines, aren't they? And they're so they easy, are. you just. And the great thing about the cutter through. bug also is because it folds flat. It's so much easier for storage. I mean, I don't it's know. It's very light as well. There's all sorts of bits I've got around my house. And because they've got handles on and things like that, you, you can't find a sensible place to store them. Um, now, what I've actually done, you're, you're given an Allen key um, to screw the handle onto this machine. But I haven't bothered because it does make it much, much easier just to take the handle off. Oh, OK. Um, so let's pop this away because we don't need this anymore. And in fact, I'll put the handle back on there before I lose it. Right, Kate, you are given the task of gluing that to the base of the vase. Now, the base of the vase is quite simply a shaped piece of cardstock like this. It's been scored and folded, and then this bit pops up to give it a bit of extra strength. OK, and the template so for that is in the magazine. The template for the that project. is in the magazine. If you can glue those pieces onto there... I'll do my very best. I will now just show you... What, as I say, what I've done is I've taken Heather's template, but I've adapted it so that it's more of a um, leaf design. Um, what we'll do is we'll load the, the adapted template on the web website as well, yeah? Yep, so that'll be a free download for you to use if you like that one. When on the template you've got the scoring lines, what I suggest you do is, especially where you've got scores that start in the middle of the piece of card, is if you mark it with a pricking tool so that when you put it on your scoreboard, you can line a ruler up to it along with the score lines and the pricking line and you can get the score in the right place. OK. And these are mountain and valley folds so that it... it um, with a little bit, of co little bit of coaxing... It will fold up flat. OK. You're not looking, are you? I'm busy Look, gluing. are you not impressed by that? I'm very impressed, Corinne. It looks so amazing. I've pre-decorated these bits. The way that I've got the extra um, leaves in here 
to match into it so perfectly, is I've just taken one of the templates, I've drawn it again on scrap card, oh, and then pretty. I've cut out these centre bits so I can use them as stencils to then stick the other bits on. Oh, and you put it together like a jigsaw. And what I've done is I've been very sensible and I've called some pieces A and some pieces B so that I get the right bits. So let's just stick these in place. It's all about no, layering as well down. as the folding it, this project, yeah. isn't it? I mean, it? this is it. She's got so much extra embellishment on here. Um, that It's such a lovely gift as well, <laughs> because instead of just a card... You know when you do something and you think, oh, hang on a minute, oh, that's how I did it. <laughs> I did number it's all these pieces. It's almost beaten the <laughs> ever-professional <laughs> Corinne Brad. That's how tricky it is. But yeah, it's such a nice gift because often you send a card with flowers, but this way the, the, the flowers will last yeah, forever. The on the card. Um, and it's all in one thing. And I like the way you can fold it up flat as well. She so can pop it in the envelope and post it with no, no worries. Right, while you're sitting there talking, I have another job for you. <gasps> can you? I'm not sure this was in the job description, Corinne. Pierce a hole in that. Whereabouts do you want in the hole? Anywhere you like, but Fair. not near the fold, please. Okay. And pop that in there while I just glue these bits on. This is possibly, again, one of the quickest demonstrations that you will ever see. Almost like registered When you do it at home, I would suggest that you actually take your time because you get a much better result. But even so... You can see how quickly you it does see come how together quickly. when you've cut out all your templates. And you can and see how simple it is. Now, what you do with this is on the folding pattern, there are two tabs that you fold in. These fold in and these fit into the slots that are cut. You can see it better on this side here. So if we pop one in there and open the tabs out. And I am just going to glue these in place so they don't fall apart. I'd glue it back on yourself. That way, the leaves will lift up. Have you finished doing that? I have. It's really good. Little tabs there. Not too near the tabs, you say. Well, I like to give you a challenge, Corinne. <laughs> Be no fun otherwise. So you just slot those into the, the slits that are already there. Yes. It does make it easier if they're not actually quite as close to the fold as you have put it. Thank you for that, Kate. I'm, I'm You're very, great. I'm a brilliant assistant. <laughs> you are. You've only done this, so I never ask you to do anything again, haven't you? I can't possibly say, <laughs> Corinne. <laughs> okay, and if you glue that in. So these pieces are now stuck to here. Okay. There is a hole here, again, hidden by the flower. And there is a tab here. You thread the tab. I don't know if you can see this. You thread the tab through the hole. Twist it round, and then if you open it up, it holds it in place. Oh, because it opens up. Yeah. I see. And then with this, excellently glued this, and decorated. It is base. excellently glued and decorated. I'm going to again have to going to have to use glue, because I know that if I try and use double sided tape, I'll never be able to get the backing off it. The reason you've got this sort of trouser leg effect is so that you stick it flush with the base, so that it's it's raised already. Okay. Okay. Stick it down. Yep, these bits fold in. That's too low down. Obviously, when oh, you do Kate, this at home, you won't going. quite be against the clock Horribly as we wrong. are here. Do you lift the leaves? I see. Now, the leaves should go over the top of it. But and you can lift those over the top anyway, <laughs> can't you? What you do, yes, you would do it over the top. Like that. This will stick back together here with a piece of double sided tape. And it, it will, believe me, it will fold flat. Like so. Like so. This is possibly not the easiest demonstration we've ever done. But it does look really good. But the it, finished, and the it finished does item work. is Believe lovely me, and really it does unusual. Work. But we will load the other templates onto the website. Brilliant. So that you can see how lovely you can actually make this finished card. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much, Corinne. <laughs> That's OK. Thank you for allowing me to do that demonstration. Brilliant. <laughs> That's what we've got time for here today, as you can probably tell. Um, once you've read your Crafts Beautiful, do come along to the website. We've got extra templates to download, lots of competitions, and you can join our forum too. Until next time.